Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on War Wings. Now, sitting down, I was watching Dunkirk, the film. Great film, by the way. And I was like, I've got to pick up this game because this advert came on for War Wings. I was like, this looks pretty exciting. And I wasn't quite sure about it until I then got back, went on the app store and found out there's been over a million downloads. So I thought, hey, this is uh, it's got to be something I, uh, I consider playing. And, I, you know, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it. Now, I've just downloaded it for my iPhone, so what I'm going to do is set it up on it, because I did have it on the Android, but obviously, for game optimization, I'm going to put it on the iPhone, because it's going to run a bit more smoothly. So, obviously, going through the, the controls things, the controls do seem very simple, uh, with regards to, like, rotation around. And, obviously, in the right-hand, the bottom left-hand corner, even, you're going to see, like, the joystick kind of functions, which do seem pretty kind of uh, self-explanatory. So, you go up and then down oh got to, it's got to straighten out that's one thing i've got to learn about when i was playing on the android it was all about straightening out and uh, now we're going into kind of firing the weapons now at the moment when you start basically obviously you get standard kind of machine gun type things and boosts like uh, kind of a re reducing boost kind of an increase of boost and at the moment it's kind of telling me about how to that's kind of control my plane to kind of get through certain points Obviously, I've got into dogfights, and it's like, man, when you get into these dogfight situations, it, it's pretty intense, and you have to, like, really kind of angle yourself correctly, make sure you're kind of out of the way of danger. And the same kind of things that if you've seen any kind of uh, aircraft war strategy kind of films, that you'll see, like, oh, people will kind of rotate around to kind of avoid dogfights. Now, obviously, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of uh, leading the target, if you can see here, leading the target a little bit, and that's something really to kind of practice and, and kind of understand about leading leading targets and that's obviously getting the character getting the enemy plane flush but are we going to see any more is there any more danger nope but obviously we'll get into uh the sign in obviously now i'm going to sign in um via you can sign in via guest but i'm i'm not quite sure with regards to say new updates is it going to bump you off is it going to mean that you're not going to get it so it may be recommended to sign in via facebook so our first ever battle has got to be a quick game this is kind of a, a general thing we choose our plane it's kind of stipulated what plane that we actually choose and this will put us in with very kind of new players, which obviously is great because you're not going to feel so kind of intimidated by people that are going to be more experienced in, than yourself. I've already played this on the Android, so I'm kind of uh, I know what I'm expecting here. So this is going to be this is going to be fun. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this, uh, especially if I kind of like if my training's done well and I did as well as my first battle as uh, as my guest account. Uh, I should be all right. Let's increase a bit of speed. I want to get into the danger zone. Feels like Top Gun, really. Ah, danger zone. I, I promise I'll never sing again. Um, I lied. Uh, I probably will. Right. Okay. So aerial attack here. I'm kind of leading the target and going around. That's a great first kill. I'm going into a circle at the moment, basically, uh, because I'm a little bit kind of worried here. Uh, but I'm still going to swing around and see if there's going to be any enemies. Um, we're leading a target here. That's good. Oh, no, not great. That was not great at all. And we need to reload. Obviously, the top right-hand button here. Oh, watch out for my... Uh, obviously, you don't want to hit your own people. That's uh, that's a definite no-no. Whoa, there's a, there's a lot of enemies here. But still, should I be able to get some sort of double kill, maybe? Oh, down to eight bullets. So, oh, I've... Uh, I've gone up a little bit there, so I need to kind of go down and swing around, see if we can get some more enemies. Something coming into shot, yep. And we need to come up a bit. I need to judge this a little bit better. That's not particularly good, but I am I am leading the target quite well there. Got to go in for a reload, because I've got no bullets. And I've accidentally pressed it again. Easily done. We should be able to take that one there. Good. On to the next ones. Obviously, you will understand at some point you will be under attack, and I am under attack now. I am now going into a nose dive, and I'm going to go round. There's somebody attacking me there. I think that's the one there. Where's he gone? Where's that pesky varmint gone? Oh, I am under attack. It's difficult to pinpoint where I'm receiving the, the kind of damage from, but it ain't good. It's not good, man. It's not good. Oh, damn it. Right, okay, not great. I'm going to have to take a swing around. Try and pick up some more enemies. 
Okay, we've got someone there leading the target. Good lead, and that's brilliant as well. I am going to go for a reload because I need some more ammo. Don't shoot me, please. Right, what are these people doing here? Is this so there, there's somebody attacking me? Oh no, I think it's from dead ahead actually. So I need to swing down and around, try and get out of the way of a few barrel rolls. Maybe if we go over to the left. Oh dear, this does not look good for me. Maybe if I go down underneath them. No, nope, that's not good. Swinging around. Again, we're trying to just avoid just getting hit. So um, go in the turn. Oh, and the problem. The, I think the problem that I've had there is uh, it's kind of turning into fire. I'm going to get nice and low. And I think that's the problem there. So I've, I did get I did get killed. It's not the end of the world though. I feel that we have done very good so far. Uh, where's... I think I'm a bit low down. I need to kind of... Where... Where is everybody? Oh dear. Ah, right, okay. Aha! Hey, you sneaky sneakerson. I'm on an ultra kill at the moment, so I'll settle for that. That's pretty good. And here comes death from above. I'm under attack at the moment, but it's hard to pinpoint what exactly I'm under attack by. Oh, right, okay. So maybe something that's been above me at the moment. Going high. Oh, that's a great position there. Well done, me. I don't know why I'm complimenting myself. But still, yeah, so mission successful. Um, I've got... I'm an MVP. Of course I'm an MVP. So there's my score right at the top. Um, I'm not saying that I knew what I was doing, but I definitely... I, you know, I really do like this game. Um, obviously, it works better over Wi-Fi. And obviously, what you do is you get experience. Experience goes into your research, sec research section. And in there, like as you can see, we've got uh, that plane there. Um, it looks to be like several other different kind of like improvements. So we're kind of like improve the, the power tech and and then this kind of like standard stuff, similar to other games like uh, World of Tanks, uh, World of Warplanes. But I, I just like the concept of it being more kind of like in your hand and kind of portable. Uh, it seems to as well functionality-wise compared with other games uh, a lot better than that. And here's what I'm talking about with regards to the tiering system. So it's good, like, uh, you start off at uh, T1 and you go right the way to uh, to tier 9. And obviously, this is a start point. You know, they could go further than this. and you can. But obviously, at the moment, you can get some, like, pretty amazing things. Let's go to the Mosquito there. And if you really like your, your kind of warplanes, this is, uh, is something for you. Starting off with the very early points, we're looking at World War One, And we're kind of going through uh, World War Two. And I think there's a few things that maybe post World War II but I think it's still in keeping with the same theme. One thing that's great obviously we've got a kind of login thing and obviously you get to collect stuff. Uh, there's uh, there's chat, there's messaging, uh, there's lots of kind of like different and various stuff. Uh, squadrons, we've got um, like events things that are going on, uh, things like missions similar to like other games uh, you know like Injustice where you do missions and you kind of collect things. A uh, great concept which uh, I do do enjoy. And obviously you've got your premium content, so we've got things with regards to like your crate, we've got plane bundles, you can buy planes individually, we're using the gold, you've got premium accounts, uh, all things that are just standard really with uh, with most games, uh, similar again to, to war gaming format, but they add a little bit of kind of extra depth with regards to these, uh, these crates. And obviously if you go to your planes hangar, you're able to add in your upgrades, so we got that, uh, that kind of boost upgrade, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to purchase that, put it on there quite simply, and uh, we can't. We, can we get the other thing? Yeah, we can purchase the next one up from there, and then we'll have to be level 30 in order to get a bit further with that. But you can improve your fuselage, weapon systems, which again, you know, we're going to do that. I want some more powerful weapons going into a fight, and uh, as well, fuselage. I'm going to improve that, and then we're going to also improve the rack. Excellent. Um, uh, but obviously you can add things with regards to rockets, which we're going to now have a look at as well, or bombs even. Uh, so there's a bomb, so we're going to purchase uh, a 
bomb there for 400 silver and add that on and that's something where you know you'll you will be able to do that or be able to use that in uh, in future games and then there's loads of other things like gun sights you know there's there's a whole host of things with regards to improving planes as you go uh, like a gearing system uh, so I quite like this. I'm really getting into this. Um, I got into it in the Android, but I'm bringing it over to the, the iPhone just for game optimization. And obviously the choice will be yours. I had no problems with using the Android. I just like the extra fast kind of usage with my Wi-Fi. And it is recommended to use Wi-Fi, a good strong Wi-Fi, in order to kind of make sure that your dog fights are kind of as uh, on point as possible. So as I get into uh, another game, uh, one kind of like mild criticism is the amount of time you wait in order to kind of form a team and I don't know whether it's because um, I've got good game optimization you know there's there's just like a low speed for me like I, I mean a high speed for me but kind of a lower speed for everybody else and then you know, I am pretty much impressed by the game uh, on the whole I find the controls are really smooth and the dog fights are you know are, are just so so kind of a uh, you know, it feels like um, I'm just like right in control, and I, you know, I can easily get myself out of danger. Uh, the swinging around is uh, it, it's quite uh, smooth. I must admit, I keep forgetting to uh, to kind of sort out my 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 putting in more kind of ammo, which is not isn't great, but that's just like that's just me uh, being a bit silly. And as my wing is damaged currently, which isn't always uh, the ideal situation. Um, Oh look at that! Like the wing spin around there was just was just immense by the uh, the enemy in the dogfight. So my hats off to him, uh, but I am going to try and eliminate him as best as I can. Come on! Okay, I have got some some major stuff is damaged now. Oh man, he can properly maneuver me. He really can. Oh damn it! I, I am not doing too well. I really am not. That was. Okay, so I went right into the back of him there. Whoa! This was uh, like an intense battle to kind of end on, and I was like, I, I kind of came out on top. Obviously, uh, I'm not called Rich Demand for nothing, but uh, yeah, it was quite an intense battle. We actually came from behind in order to win, which uh, is uh, is pretty incredible. Uh, but yeah, my final thoughts is um, an amazing game, and it will be a game that I'll be picking up. It's quite addictive as well, and also I really want to get those planes kind of ranked up quite quickly. I love those in a dogfight and I strongly suggest to pick up this game if you're thinking about it. This wasn't a paid sponsorship but is a game that I personally like to play. So uh, the link to uh, to this is in the description below and uh, yeah give it uh, some support and uh, hopefully catch some more videos from myself on the game.